Hey guys, I had to make a first impressions video of the Oculus Quest because this device is honestly mind boggling to me. It's literally Ready Player One. It's the first untethered virtual reality device that you don't need a PC for. So you're gonna get virtual reality moving around, having depth perception and spatial computing, right? So I can create a play field in this entire room with this device because of these cameras right on here. There are four cameras right there, there, and there. And those allow this to understand your surroundings and then allow you to move around. So my goal is to at least have a few of my friends buy this device so that we can play online together. There's a ton of multiplayer games and I'm feeling kind of lonely at the moment. Something that's also really cool about this is that I can cast what I'm seeing here to my phone or to a Chromecast onto a TV. That way my friends who are hanging out with me can actually be a part of the experience now and it makes it a lot more fun. Also what's really cool is just the way you create your play field. So what I do is I put my headset on and I can actually see my surroundings because of these cameras and I actually draw a playing field and then that's where I can play around and that's where it knows to show me walls. So when I, when I go to those outer limits, a wall appears and then I know to not go any further or I'll hit a wall like my friend Toby did the other day. There's someone here. Um, so that is what Toby's seeing right Ow! now. Ow! Oh. <laughs> did you just, you need to watch my walls. You need a bigger space. Did you hit it really that hard? I mean, I hurt my finger. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, at least it wasn't my, you know, my controller, right? So enough of me talking. Why don't I show you a game? How about Beat Saber? I'll play the demo. I haven't bought the game yet, but I'm going to. And you should too. Here it goes. Okay, so first thing I have to do when I put this thing on is I have to create a guardian, right? I can still see my entire apartment. Look, that's my counter. This is my table. Do you want an egg sandwich? And now I'm going to draw my play area. Beat Saber demo and play demo level. Here I go. And this is a pretty easy level, but I can only imagine how hard it gets. So I have to watch out for those walls and I have to do the blue ones with the blue ones in the direction that it shows me and the red ones with the red ones. So oh, I missed one. This is actually, I hear like a really good workout. Uh, when it gets, especially when it gets really intense, but it's, this is literally DDR meets Star Wars in VR. Now, because of the Oculus Quest, you can play actual VR anywhere. I'm like, I'm so impressed with this device. And there we go, I can cross my swords and I can actually feel like a vibration. All right. Justin, let's see how I did this time. All right, not as good as the last time. I'm a little distracted. That was just the demo. It's $29.99 if you want the full game and I do want the full game and I'm going to get the full game. I have a bunch more games that are really cool. I have Vader Immortal, which is a Star Wars experience created by ILM X Lab. It's actually the same company that did the Star Wars experience that I tried out at The Void. Uh, they created one for the Oculus Quest. It really shows you the true potential of this device. The graphics are amazing. It's a little short, but the fact that I can use a lightsaber and duel against robots is kind of amazing. Okay, fine, I'll play it for a hot second. Let's do it. The lightsaber dojo, there's my fingers. Okay, so there's my... All right, here I go. These things are really annoying. Okay. Ah! Oh my God, I'm failing, failing. All right, gotta block this. Got him. Got him. He's coming after me. Got him. Got him. Shoot. Got him. This is challenging. This is like level eight, but I think there's like 45 levels or something. In this game, Got him. Oh, no, maybe not. Got him. Oh, shit. I just died. So that's just a quick tease into what the Oculus Quest can do. 
get one. Or you know what? Subscribe to this channel so that you can see all the games that I'm gonna be covering. I'm gonna be covering multiplayer games, free things to do, and all the things you have to try on this device. I'll also be having some giveaways for games on the Oculus Quest, so definitely keep an eye on my Instagram and my Twitter for those contests. Also, real quick, this one's the 128 gigabyte, which goes for $499. There's also a 64 gigabyte that goes for $399. I definitely recommend going with the higher one if you have the money. If you just wanna try it out, go for the smaller one, it's fine. Quick tip, what I did, you don't need headphones for this thing, but I happen to have headphones where the cord actually detaches from the headphones, it's a pair of bows. So what I did was I wrapped this right around here, and then I have this click right into my headphones, and it's really convenient and easy. And then if I just wanna use you know, speak, the speakers, then I just detach it, that way my friends can hear it. I'm gonna go back to the virtual reality world. Actually, I have to go edit this video now. I've barely been able to play this because I'm editing these videos for you. Anyway, I'm gonna edit this video real quick, and then I'm gonna go back into the virtual reality world and make more videos. Until then, I'm Justin, and I'll see you in the VR world.